Hey everyone, this is Michael from We's Into Snakes, and this used to be my office. Um, we've uh, brought in a couple more snakes, so I'm changing over my office into the snake room. So. As you can see, we've added a large six foot enclosure here. I still have to put some more substrate in it, um, but I'm gonna switch some over and then also wanna put some more enrichment, another hide and so forth in there. Um, but it will uh, do for now this is going to be our rescue ball pipe uh, excuse me our rescue boa constrictors new enclosure so let me introduce you to our new boa constrictor okay this is roxy um she is a uh, common boa constrictor we actually um, rescued her and uh when i picked her up this is the enclosure they had her in um, so but when I got her there was no substrate in here um, there was a hide which I've already taken the hide out and put in her uh, larger enclosure that we're setting up for her um, but uh, she actually hadn't eaten in seven months um, we've had her for three months and uh, not three months excuse me we've had her for three weeks and uh she's already eaten three times for us um has done really well as far as that goes um so uh the only hold up was you know i put substrate in here for her uh to give her you know a little bit more humidity and so forth in her enclosure um we also had a uh, added uh, heat under tank heat for just something to keep her comfortable until I could get this other um, enclosure set up but now we have the other one set up so we're gonna go ahead and get her out and she is really strong a little bit in her water bowl and so forth Oh, she don't let go. Okay, Roxy. And uh, I always had wanted a boa constrictor. Um, just never had taken the opportunity to pick one up. And then this one kind of fell in our lap as a rescue 911. Um, was contacted or uh, contacted about her, and um, the day that. I was contacted about her. I went and uh, picked her up. I think she's wanting to go back in her enclosure. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put her in her new enclosure. She hadn't been, she had uh, over that seven month uh, or seven month period where she hadn't eaten or anything else, she actually hadn't been held or anything so we were a little bit concerned when we got her but um, as you can see she's not aggressive um, and uh, so I don't know where her head went to oh, there she is she's trying to go back to her enclosure again so I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up let me see if I can swing the camera around here a little bit Um, I have set this one up. We got some locks on it, so forth. Uh, I do have a heat lamp on the top. She want to explore this. Right, you go in there. But this will give her a lot more room. It's six foot long. Um, it is also 18 inches wide. 20 some inches tall definitely want to add her a lot more enrichment in here add her another hide which we'll be doing shortly um, I'll get her water bowl put in here she's gonna do her 
typical thing most likely she'll go uh, work on going underneath the substrate but I want to take um, I'm going to take all her substrate and everything out of here now that I got her out of here um, I'll sift through this to make sure there's no droppings or anything I need to clean up and so forth and I'll move her water bill I'll give her some fresh water she loves to put that uh, cocoa husk in the water I'm digging it out every day so I add all this over to her enclosure get her water bowl in there and uh, get her all set up that way too
as you can see uh, Roxy is uh, doing a little exploring checking things out she's not used to having this much room that's for sure um, I do want to put a hide on this side for her this would be the cool side um, and then I'd like to add a little bit more enrichment in there for her um, get her a nicer water bowl it suffices for what it is I mean it's uh, she could curl up in there if she had to um, also have the hide on this end this is the hot side um, usually the hot side is measuring right around 88 degrees um, it on this side there's under tank heat um, there's a heating pad underneath I also have the heat lamp on top and this LED light strip that's more just for me so that I could see her and so forth um, I do have these are screen panels I did cover these two screen panels with uh, foil tape to hold in the uh, moisture uh, to keep the humidity up I'm all um, I made it so that if I need to I could pull some of it off or add more over here um, right now um, I have added some more moisture to the substrate we're gonna see where it's like in a few hours and so forth and then go from there what I need to do um, also on this top this top was made so that it um, it goes under the edge of the um, aquarium top or whatever the the trim piece around the top of the aquarium it's actually cut out so that it goes over that and then um, what I did is I put little latches right here to keep the corners down um, I got key locks on it um, just because I have two little kids um, as you know you've probably seen Sylvia and Shayla in the videos um, I just want to make sure that they're not getting in here without some uh, adult supervision so but that's what we that's what we came up with and that's the reason I've lost my office but that's okay I don't mind um, we're just doing a little rearranging I'll go ahead and get some more stuff out of here so that I can get some uh, more snake enclosures in here and so forth but Roxy Roxy hasn't had uh, hasn't ever had this much room before so she's definitely exploring and checking things out but she's looking good um, looking good and healthy um, like I said she has eaten three times in the three weeks that we've had her I will cut her back I'm not gonna feed her once a week but um, she was really um, really malnut uh, malnut uh, malnutrition or malnourished is what I'm trying to say so um, getting some food in her and everything else small meals so that uh, she'd start building back up her strength and looking good and everything else and she's definitely looking good now so so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up uh, appreciate y'all watching the video um, if you have any um, suggestions maybe anything else I could uh, do for Roxy um, which uh, by the way her name is Roxy Balboa because <laughs> because I always wanted a, a boa I was hoping to get a male um, my understanding is that she's a female um, I wanted to get a male and name it Rocky Balboa um, so female we just named her Roxy Balboa um, but if you got any suggestions any tips or anything that maybe I should uh, do to uh, uh, make her enclosure nicer um, by all means comment below uh, I appreciate any uh, any helpful uh, tips and so forth uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel um, like the video hit the notification bell so you'll see uh, get the notifications when we per uh, post more videos uh, again I appreciate y'all watching and uh, we'll see you next time thanks <laughs>